One of the most challenging scenarios for a restorative or cosmetic dentist is when he or she is faced with matching a single front tooth porcelain crown or porcelain veneer against the adjacent teeth. This video demonstrates a live case where the patient had broken an old porcelain veneer on her lower front tooth with a patchwork of old crowns, natural teeth, and other veneers to match to. The patient almost fell over when we told her that we could replace her porcelain veneer that day. After numbing the tooth, we created a rough draft of the shape and contour of her soon-to-be veneer by hand bonding materials that would mimic the tooth structure. The rough draft was then recontoured as the shape of the new veneer is essential to the final outcome, not only in regards to the bite, but as to the aesthetics and the looks of the final restoration. Her bite was then carefully checked to ensure that everything matched up properly. We then applied a thin powder to the tooth to allow the infrared camera of the Xeric acquisition unit to take an image of the rough draft. Notice that multiple images were taken from multiple angles to ensure that the entire contour and shape of the tooth could be drawn into the computer. This was to ensure that the final result would be an exact copy of the rough draft. Her rough draft was then removed and we proceeded to prepare the tooth to accept the new porcelain veneer. Note the use of the metal retractor that was used to help ensure that the gum tissue surrounding the veneer would not get damaged. This could lead to uncontrolled recession or falling off of the gum tissue if such an instrument was not used. To ensure a perfect seal, a very fine diamond burr was then used to finish preparing the tooth. A green clay-like material was then used to encourage gentle separation of the gum tissue from the edge of the prepared tooth so that an exact replica of the prepared tooth could be drawn into the CEREC CAD CAM machine. Note that the angulations of the images of the prepared tooth correspond closely to the images that were taken of the rough draft or the before situation. After drawing the prepared tooth into the CAD CAM program, the tooth in question was then separated from the adjacent teeth and then the edges of the prepared tooth were delineated. These margins or edges represent the seal, where veneer will meet tooth structure. The seal is very accurate, specifically to 50 microns or 500 civil millimeter. The before rough draft image is then pulled up in the program and superimposed over the final preparation of the tooth in question. A virtual rough draft of the veneer is then created. Slight adjustments to the virtual veneer are made and then the virtual veneer data is sent to a robotic milling unit which carves the veneer out of a block of solid porcelain which was chosen specifically to closely match the patient's other teeth. Within seven minutes the veneer is carved out and ready to try in. Some brief final adjustments to the veneer are manually performed outside of the mouth and the porcelain veneer is customized using stains and glazes to ensure a perfect match to her surrounding teeth. Akin to glazing pottery, the veneer was then heated in an oven under tremendous heat and pressure to permanently integrate the stains and glaze into the veneer, as well as to strengthen the veneer. Fifteen minutes later, the veneer was removed from the oven, chemically treated to allow a very strong bond or fusion to what remains of the natural tooth using sophisticated tooth colored bonding materials. To ensure a very strong bond, an isolation mechanism is used as the tooth is bonded in place. Ninety-five minutes has elapsed without molds or temporaries independent of the dental laboratory with one local anesthetic injection. The patient was very pleased.